Hello everybody, Malinka here, and today I'm going to talk about the Red Queen, the Glass Sword, and the Queen's Song, all books of Victoria of the Art. I promise no spoilers, I just want to share some impressions with you because in my opinion these are really nice books and you could read them and have a good time. So The Red Queen was launched in was published in 2015 and some of my favorite booktubers reviewed this book as being quite nice. Then The Glass Sword, the second book in this series, appeared in 2016 February. So I said okay I'm gonna wait for the second book to come and then I'm gonna read them together. And fortunately for me, they were really good. Uh, however, there are some aspects that I didn't like as much, so I'm going to talk about them. Again, no spoilers, just general aspects. So the things that I loved was the story, the characters, the world building, and the second book, The Glass Sword, was, in my opinion, much more original, much more well-constructed. Uh, so the Red Queen, I gave it three stars on Goodreads, and The Glass Sword, I gave it four stars. The Queen Song, I think I would have given it two and a half stars or three stars, but I will talk about it as well. So if you don't know the story, just a few uh, pointers. The Red Queen sends a world where there are two types of people, the Red Blood and the Silver Blood. The Red Blood are much more commoners, they are workers, they have nothing special, while the Silver Blooded have the ability to manipulate the elements of the nature, the fire, the earth, the water, the plants, stuff like that. So they are taking a much higher uh, position in the society, whilst the Red Bloods are working with their hands and they're sent to war once they're 17. Um, Fortunately, in this world, there's this cute little girl called Mare Barrow, which is a red blood uh, girl, but she discovers she has abilities just like the Silvers. So to keep her in check and control and to discover where these powers come from, the Silvers take her to the royal court and give her as an engagement and engage her to one of the princes, Maven. So there are two princes, Cal and Maven, so she gets engaged to Maven. I swear this is not spoilers, it's on the back of the book, and this is the main setting. What I uh, did not enjoy as much was, of course, the connection or the common points with other YA fantasy books, major one with uh, Divergent, The Hunger Games, and Twilight, and The Maze Runner. So it has elements from those books, and when you read it, if you have read those books, you are aware of them. So if you can power through those common elements and enjoy the writing, the entertainment of the story, the supernatural powers that some of the characters have, you will be fine. Actually, I'm quite fortunate that I have not read as much YA or fantasy books, because for me, there was some similarities with the, the books I mentioned before, but otherwise, I mean, pretty original. Uh, also, I don't read as much YA, but the thought, the story of a girl that has supernatural powers and she's taking at the royal court and she's fighting for her own kind and she's trying to discover who she is, this is already appealing to me and I, cannot, I could not stop myself from reading it. Okay, this is where Red Queen ends. Glass Sword is the continuation. I enjoyed Glass Sword much more. The world was completely um, taken two notches up. Many more developments happened. Um, I could not even uh, see from far how some of the characters will be developed, such as one of the Prince Cal, the second Prince Maven. They are continuously developed, but in a very different direction. The same with Mare. Um, while she was at court, she had her name changed to Morena. Now she's back to being herself, but she's trying to discover her powers. And there is, again, similarities with other YA, but it's much more original. The plot is much more original. And, of course, the ending, oh, my goodness, it was really good. Um, I noticed around the Internet there is this division with Team Cal and Team Maven, but I won't speak about it. I would let you enjoy the book and see for yourself. And the third, of course, the ending of The Glass Sword was absolutely, I could not see it from far, and it was lovely. And then, because I, I had this desire to read more and more and more, give me more of Mayor and the others, 
So I went ahead and I read Queen Song. This is a prequel of the Red Queen and is the story of Cal's mother, the first queen Korean, uh, Koreane, Korean, I don't know for sure to pronounce these names. Um, and the reason I gave it only two and a half stars, but there's no two and a half stars, so I gave it three uh, on Goodreads is because it presents the life of Corian before the wedding. It has parts of her diary where she reveals her um, her thoughts and how she sees the world. But there's no um, information on how uh, the actual queen Ilarne, Ilarne I don't know, um, manipulated her and and pushed her to do all those things. So I don't know. It doesn't give as much information as I would have wanted. I would have wanted to know every single step, what happened, how she got to that decision, how what happened to her son. But it's not as much information, and I felt like it's another cliffhanger, which I didn't like. I wanted a little bit more. <sighs> okay, so that was my impression of the Red Queen and the Glass Sword. There is another novella. By the way, the the Queen's Song. It's a small novella. It's, I think, only a hundred pages or something. And then there's another novella called, I don't know what's it called. And it's the description of one of um, uh, Mare's friends, I would say, Diana Farley. So she's also red-blooded. She makes part of the Scarlet Guard that is fighting against the Silvers. So I was not that much curious. Maybe I'll read it this weekend just to see what's up with that one. But I was much more interested in the story of the Queen Korean. And it was not... I wanted more. Okay, I hope you read uh, both of these or all four of these books. And let me know, of course, let me know. if Are you Team Cal? Are you Team Maven? Or are you just Team Mare? I personally am Team Cal. <laughs> and, of course, Team Mare. So, see you. Bye-bye.